Hi everyone, it is week six of the high school football season and tonight we kick off our coverage in western Pennsylvania with a couple of District 10 rivals fighting for a conference crown on high school football's biggest stage. Grove City and Sharon headlined our WKBN Game of the Week tonight. Chad Kraspinski had the call and he joins us with more from Tiger Stadium. Last season, Grove City and Sharon split a pair of meetings with the Tigers ending the Eagles campaign in postseason play. When I visited with players from both sides heading into tonight's action, they told me they wanted to show the opposition who is boss while also keeping pace with the first place Hickory Hornets. We'll show you how this one went down, a wild one at Sharon Tiger Stadium. Grove City looking like a well-oiled machine. Second quarter, 74-yard touchdown pass. Logan Breeze to Jake Reddick. It made it 16-0 in favor of Grove City. On to the third quarter. Sharon caught fire. Lane Voidick connects with Trey Jones for a touchdown pass. That tied the ball game up at 16. Fourth quarter, Sharon getting it done again. This one in for a five-yard touchdown, Tyvel Richardson. And then in the fourth quarter, in fourth and seven, Lane Voidick with a touchdown pass to Ty Elam, giving the Tigers the lead for good. Grove City with one final chance. Logan Breeze's pass, however, is tipped and intercepted by Thomas Dawson. That seals the deal. Sharon gets the victory, 30-23 to the final. That's only, I think, our third interception of the season. So, I mean, those are a rarity for our team. And uh, it was honestly very exciting, especially from a D lineman. Like, he's actually my center, so I was really happy for him. And uh, it was great. So based on the victory tonight for Sharon, both teams are now 5-2. and two. Sharon will pay a visit to University Prep one week from tonight. Meanwhile, Grove City will hit the road to Conneaut. Reporting from Sharon, I'm Chad Krispinski for the WKBN Game of the Week.